What's going on, Smite Console fans? A huge week just wrapped on Monday to bring the fall split of the SCL to a close, so I'm more than happy to go back over it just in case you missed any matches. I'll tell you a little bit about what happened. That way you can be all caught up for when the console wars take off, and you'll know exactly where everyone's already standing. Over on the PS4 side, some important wins came through. It was very close all throughout the fall split, but we got our winners from each region. Insomnia get the win over Freaks T1 2-0. That's enough for them to come out of their group, and then in control, who actually were in control. I know we've beaten that pun to death. For the most of Fall Split, we were able to get the win over Strictly Business, and they were also able to make it through on a 2-0. So big for PS4. They'll be fighting through the placement rounds. Only one PS4 team can actually make it to that final in the console war, so they have to make it through the placement stage first. But then over on the Xbox side of things, things are maybe even a little bit more nasty. Noxious get the win over Retribution. This was an important win for them just to make sure they're able to qualify. They get the 2-0 there. It was another set where maybe the outcome wasn't too big of a surprise, but it was still actually pretty important. Cyclone were nipping at the heels of Noxious in the standings, and eventually they'd get pushed back. It was closer, though, than maybe you would think from, from the 2-0 title, or at least Game 1, which was kind of close for a while, but eventually ended up getting closed down in favor of Noxious. And I... And Era BX just continues uh, for me to stand out in the middle lane. It really does seem like that when Noxious do well, that it, it's because he's doing well. It's it's difficult for me to imagine any EU team being able to overtake Rival, but the one team that was able to take a game off of them way back in week one, it was this Noxious team. If anyone has some kind of recipe to at least some success against them, this is the squad to be on the lookout for, and they'll have an exciting matchup against Flashpoint. That's who they'll play first in placements, and maybe they'll be able to make their way towards Rival. Over on the North American side, though, in Xbox, we saw Flashpoint get the win 2 over Elevate. Again, another set where maybe you'd have picked Flashpoint. They would have been the favorites going in. Elevate have certainly had some struggles here in fall. But it was an important win for Flashpoint to get some distance away from Armada, who's been improving here lately and was hot on their heels. There's no surprise, though, that in a game this important, right, that it's Crimson and Jumpa who both step up, lighten up the scoreboard. Uh, Crimson able to make some highlight plays on the Freya getting the triple kills as well, and Jumpa making some big plays on the Susano. As usual, though, it felt like it was Delning was the one that was really creating the room for all those fireworks, and that's really what the winning formula for this Flashpoint team looks like, right? As long as Delny can look good in lane, if... if, if preferable if he can win the matchup, and then Crimson doesn't have to bear the brunt of the focus from the enemy team as a result, then they can hang with just about anyone. So that always makes that team look like one that can keep up with just about anybody else. But again, we'll talk a little bit about the actual console wars bracket, the format, and everything you can expect from all those teams. Remember, the PS4 teams have to play in initially in that placement stage. You're also going to be seeing Flashpoint with Noxious. That's your, that's your NA and EU number two seed representatives on Xbox, and then your number one seeds from NA and EU for PS4 at the top there in those placement rounds. Unfortunately for PS4, they fought real hard to get here, but Astral is their opponent waiting for them. A juggernaut really in Xbox right now feels like the team to beat. Astral has gone through some shank ups. They got Chapo now in that support role instead of inbound, maybe from what you'd expect. So that might open up a pathway there for them, but it's hard not to pick Astral as the favorites in that one. And then Flashpoint versus Noxious. I already talked about how Noxious is a team that maybe has had some, a little bit of success against Rival. What about this Flashpoint team? They look like they're good enough to beat Astral on some days, so I'm very excited if they could beat Noxious to see their matchup up against Team Rival as well. The console wars are certainly shaping up, at least this point, to be an exciting event. And remember, it's single elimination. There will be no second chances. You will not get another try. You either win your matchup or you just go home. So the console wars may be a little bit merciless, but that's the only way to find the absolute best team. One more time, that's going to wrap it up, though, for week six and really the entirety of the fall split for the SCL. So as always, thanks for watching and make sure that we see you all at HRX.